So right now I'm in this rad cave. I'm on the east side of Glacier National Park and about seven miles in on a run. <laughs> and I was just thinking about my dad and when I was a kid and I would be getting into something, he'd look at me, he'd be like, he did this all the time. He'd be like, mijo, ten cuidado que vas a caer. <laughs> and that's Spanish and it means something like, you know, my son, be careful, you're gonna fall. I mean, that's completely unrelated to this video, but it was on my mind. But I get people that tell me all the time, Dan, I wish I had as much energy as you. Dan, slow down, you work too much. But what they don't realize is that I got a big vision, baby. I got a big vision. I've dedicated my life to helping 100 million people lead a more meaningful, healthy-minded, and physically fit lifestyle. And that's what I'm gonna leave as my legacy. And one of my mentors, Justin Baldoni, told me this. He said, your life is not your own. Don't spend it living for yourself. Be of service to others. My dad was the hardest worker in the room, hands down. I never saw this man sit still and never once heard this man complain. He worked as a long haul truck driver, so he was gone like six days a week, long hours, on the road, and the one day that he had off, him and I would go out into the forest and we would cut wood so that we could sell it on the side. He would run the chainsaw and the splitter, I would stack the wood and then bag up all of the bark so that we could sell that as well. And as a kid, I remember I admired his work ethic because I saw that as, you know, this is how a man who is serving a purpose bigger than himself acts. And because of that, I want to be the hardest worker in the room. I used to live behind this old mattress and furniture store. And when people would come in and they would buy new things, the store would put the old things in that they exchanged out in the back. And so late at night, I would go and grab whatever they had. I would disinfect it, clean it all up, and then I would resell it. And sometimes I would make 100 to 200 bucks. And I did this time and time again. When I would be going through some hard times after that and I was on unemployment, I would be raiding TJ Maxx and Ross and I would buy things and then I would sell them for double on eBay just so that I could have some money coming in regularly. Like I never just would sit still. And I think a lot of that comes from my father. But my point is, is that you're gonna die. So what are you choosing to hustle for today? Good things come to those who hustle and hustle and heart will set you apart.